As we approach Veterans Day at the end of the week, it's the perfect time to stop, thank, and honor those that have served honorably in our military. My grandfather was a proud Lance Corporal in the U.S. Army, serving in combat during World War II in Okinawa and the Philippines. My grandfather was proud of his military service and felt it as a duty that he owed to the country that allowed him to rise up from poverty to achieve his own law practice. He missed the birth of my father due to his service. He prioritized country over career ambitions. I want to thank all of our school district employees that served in our military, including two of our own school board members, for their sacrifice and their continued commitment to our country and our future. The brave men and women who have served our country deserve our gratitude and should be elevated once their military service has ended. To that end, we are proud of our veteran-owned small businesses that work directly with our school district. Our purchasing department places priority on ensuring that we make every effort to reach out to veteran-owned businesses and look for opportunity for those businesses to work with our school district. We could never repay the sacrifice our veterans have made for us to enjoy our freedom, but we can elevate their service by intentionally seeking them out as contractors to do great work. Furthermore, we want our larger contractors to subcontract work to our local veteran-owned businesses when possible. Our veteran-owned businesses always generate exceptional work quality and understand the importance of the sacrifice. Let us use this week to celebrate and honor our veterans. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all who served. Thank you everyone, and today is a great day for a fresh start because it's day one in the school district of Osceola County.